meeting is being recorded. <laughs> Look who came to school today, school today, school today. Look who came to school today. We came to school on Tuesday. Carter came to school today, school today, school today. Carter came to school today, he came to school on Tuesday. Janiah came to school today, school today, school today. Janiah came to school today, she came to school on Tuesday. Brooklyn came to school today, school today, school today. Brooklyn came to school today, she came to school on Tuesday. Francisco came to school today, school today, school today. Francisco came to school today, he came to school on Tuesday. James came to school today, school today, school today. James came to school today, he came to school on Tuesday. Miss Potomi came to school today, school today, school today. Miss Potomi came to school today, she came to school on Tuesday. Miss Ramsey came to school today, school today, school today. Miss Ramsey came to school today, she came to school on Tuesday. Miss Cheatham came to school today, school today, school today. Miss Cheatham came to school today, she came to school on Tuesday. Miss and uh, yeah, just a sec. Hello there. Hey, Miss Harris. You can't see me? I'm, I, I was watching Brooklyn eat breakfast. Um, maybe try, maybe try uh, leaving the meeting and coming back in because we could see you. All right, sorry about that. Okay, thank you. All right, oh, Miss Van came to school today. School today, school today. Miss Van came to school today. She came to school on Tuesday. And what is the name of today, Janaya? What's the name of what's the name of today? We just say it. We came to school on Tuesday. That's it. Good job. Let, uh, what do you want to do when we say Tuesday in our song? Pat our head. Pat our head for Tuesday. There are seven days in the week. Name them all. Name them all. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Saturday, Saturday. And there's Miss Potomi holding up those seven. That's the seven days. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If you say the days, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, seven. All right. I like your seven up there, Janaya. Good job. And what's the name of this month, James? The very first one. January. January. What do you want to do when we get to January in our song? Clap our hands. Clap, clap our hands for January. Okay, here we go. Get your clappers ready because it's the very first one. You ready? One, two, three. January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. And the name, uh, the number for today, I'm going to hold up the calendar so you can see. Let's count and see. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. What's today? Francisco, what's the number for today? Francisco. Two. 12. You got it, buddy. And here's that 12. It looks like a one and a two. All right. There we go. Goodbye, 12. All right. And then there's Caitlin's birthday. It's coming in a week. I wish she would come back. Okay. Um, let's do some breathing. Shall I? Let's try the pretzel today. You have to twist your body up in a pretzel. So put your hands out like this, turn them upside down like this, and clap them together and put them up under your chin. Oh. And then 
take a big deep breath and go and then untwist and go okay twist back up and twist back down and one more time twist up and there you go janiah that's a good way and then go and shake it all out get all relaxed we're ready for the morning good job <laughs> oh, yeah it's nice and relaxing take a deep breath and it can make us feel calm if we're kind of excited or upset too can it all right we've been talking about winter and we've been talking a lot about snow even though we haven't seen any and i have a book for you today that's also about winter and there's snow in it but this book is called the mitten it's called the mitten. Do you know what a mitten is, Janiah? Carter, what's a mitten? What's a mitten? Um, a dog? A glove. Uh, yeah, it's a glove. What? Tell me some more about a mitten, Janiah. A mitten is the kind that you put on and it has a thumb and then one piece covers all your fingers. That's the difference. A, mitt, a glove has places for all your fingers and a mitten has just a place for your thumb and then all the fingers are inside. So when you look at this cover, there's the picture of the mitten. See, it has a thumb and then it has a big place for all the fingers. And look, all these animals are looking at that mitten. So we're going to find out what these animals have to do with the mitten. The story, what's the, what's the part of the book is this? Yes. Title page, and it says right here the title of the book is The Mitten, a Ukrainian folktale adapted and illustrated by Jan Brett. That means Jan Brett wrote the words. Uh, she knew the story and she wrote the words to a story she already knew. Mm -hmm. And illustrated means she also drew the pictures. And here's some more pictures. Here's a little boy. This is inside the book, but we're not to the story yet. And he's looking out the window and he sees snow and he wants to run outside and play in the snow. What? And here he goes. Once there was a boy named Nikki who wanted his new mittens to be made from wool as white as the snow. He wanted to have white mittens. Now tell me if that's a good idea to have white mittens in all that snow. What might happen if he drops his mitten? He'll lose it. He'll lose it, cause why? Cause he'll melt down. Well, because it's white like the snow and he won't be able to see it, but anyway. Here's his grandma, and as we know, grandmas love their grandbabies more than anything, and they want to do what they like. So his grandmother did not want to knit white mittens because uh, she said if you drop it in the snow, you'll lose it. But Nikki wanted snow white mittens, and finally Baba, that's what he called his grandma, finally Baba made them. She made his mittens. And here he goes. After she finished, she said, when you come home, first I will look to see if you were safe and sound, but then I will look to see if you have those snow white mittens. So off Nikki went in the snow. And look, he's making footprints in the snow. Oh, no, he's not even wearing his mittens. They're in his, look there. He's not even wearing them. He's climbing a tree and his mittens are in his belt. Silly boy. So off Nikki went, and it wasn't long until one of his snow white mittens dropped in the snow, and it was left behind. Look, he dropped the other one. There it is. And here comes this animal is called, I think, a mole. And it came out from under the ground. A mole, tired from, tired from tunneling along, discovered the mitten and burrowed inside. So here, can you see the mole going inside, and he said... Just a, cozy and warm and just the right size so he decided to stay and look over here on the side here comes a what here comes a bunny do you think that's going to be the next one in the um to look at the mitten a snowshoe his name is snowshoe rabbit a snowshoe rabbit came hopping by he stopped for a moment to admire his winter coat 
And it was then that he saw the mitten and he wiggled in feet first. Look, that mole was inside the mitten and now the, the rabbit is getting in the, snuggling in the mitten. You think he can fit? The mole didn't think there was room for both of them, but when he saw rabbit's big kickers, he moved over. The mole didn't want to share it until he saw rabbit's big feet. Now this, this guy is a badger, I believe. You think he's gonna try to get in there too? Next, a hedgehog came snuffling along. A hedgehog. A hedgehog. Yep. Oh, like a uh, Sonic. Mm-hmm. So he has he has prickles on his uh, fur. Having spent the day looking under wet leaves for things to eat, he decided to move into the mitten and warm himself. The mole and the rabbit were bumped and jostled, but not being ones to argue with someone covered with prickles, they made room. Look at him squeezing in there. Now, I want you to look over here. Here's the little boy. He's still playing. He doesn't know that those animals are all inside his mitten. And here's an owl. Do you think the owl's going to get in there too? Let's see. As soon as the hedgehog disappeared into the mitten, a big owl attracted by the commotion came down. He saw the mole and the rabbit and the hedgehog and decided that he wanted to get in the mitten. They grumbled, but when they saw his glinty talons, you know what a talon is? It's those claws on his feet. When he saw those glinty talons, they quickly let him in. Up through the snow appeared a badger. And then here over here's Nikki still playing with one mitten. Yeah. Uh, the mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, and the owl were not pleased when the badger came along. But when they saw his diggers, that means his claws for digging, they gave him the thumb. So now this this guy right here is this guy right here is getting in the thumb. Look who's coming next. Do you think he's going to get in there too? Oh, it started snowing, but the animals were snug inside the mitten. Look at the mitten now. Look how big it is. It's full of animals. A waft of warm steam rose in the air and Fox trotted by to investigate. Just the sight of the cozy mitten made him feel drowsy. So he decided to go inside and 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 muzzle in when the mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, the owl, and the badger saw the fox and saw his shiny teeth. They let him in and gave him room. Oh, look, look, Nikki, now he's sliding on a hill and here comes a bear. Do you think this bear can get in there too? Look at that big old mitten. It used to be as big as your hand and now it's, look, it's got all those animals inside. I thought it did have no animals. Uh, well, it has animals in it now. They all climbed inside. And look, there's Nikki. He's still playing. Wow. <laughs> and here comes That's the bear. Now. A great bear lumbered by. He spied the mitten all plumped up. Not being one to be left out in the cold, he began to nose his way in. The animals were packed in as tightly as could be. But what animal would argue with a bear? The mitten swelled and stretched. It was pulled and bulged too many to many times its size, but Baba's good knitting held fast. Now, here, there's Nikki. He's still playing. And here comes, it looks like a mouse. Uh, uh, that's interesting. Along came a meadow mouse, no bigger than an acorn. Look at that little tiny mouse. <laughs> She wriggled into the one space left and made herself comfortable on top of the bear's nose. Look, now all the animals are snuggled in the mitten. Oh, yeah. And look right here. Look who noticed his mitten is gone. Just now. <laughs> He's going, oh, no, Baba's going to be so angry with me. Come on, hang on, Internet. The bear, tickled by the mouse's whiskers, gave, a, gave an enormous sneeze, and look what happened. Achoo! 
and all of the animals tumbled out of the mitten up into the sky. They all popped out when the bear sneezed. And they all, look, here's the fox landed plop in the snow. And here goes Nikki. he's running because he sees his mitten up in the air. On his way home, Nikki saw a white shape in the distance. It was his lost mitten. And then when he ran to catch his lost mitten, he saw Baba's face in the mitten, in the window. First, she looked to see if he was safe. And then she saw that he still had his new mittens. And there are all the animals running away, flying off, running off. And now look what they're doing at the end. Baba's looking at his mittens. There's one for his hand. And she's going, what happened to this mitten to make it so giant? What happened to make his mitten so giant, y'all? What happened, Carter? You have to unmute your... I'll mute, I'll mute. I did not know that my internet was acting up. Did y'all hear the end of the story? No. Where did it stop? Uh, when the mitten was flying in the air. Nikki okay. was. Well, here he is, he's catching his mitten and his grandma looks out the window and says, uh, she said, first he checked to see if he was safe. And then he she saw that he had his snow white mittens. And then when he goes in the house, this is the very last page. Look, she's looking at his mittens going, what happened? One of them was the was Nikki size and one of them was giant. And then I said, what happened to, the, to make that mitten so giant, Carter? Why was that mitten so big? Mm -hmm. Janiah, why was the mitten big? Hey, that's why the mitten moved. That's why the animal. There you go. That's where all the animals were hiding. All those animals got in that mitten. You got it. Good job. So now it's but when the but what made them get get out was that, did you hear that part? How did they get out? How why did they get out of the mitten, James? Mm. They flew in the air. What? They flew in the air. They flew in the air. Why? Yeah, they wanted to go home. No, because the bear sneezed. He said, I chew, and they all popped out. I don't know. I, I really don't know when you, where, where I stopped hearing it. But here he is. The bear sneezed. And when he sneezed, they all popped out of the mitten. I don't think they popped out on a minute. Yep, they did. Well, they popped out because he sneezed. You were right. They all flew out. You're right. Anyway, to this at this this morning at 940, we're going to have an activity that has mittens in it. And then you can use some mittens that are in your um, learning packet. You can get use those mittens for um, to make your own rhyming words. OK. All right. I'm going to see you at 940. OK. Love you. All right. See you later. Bye.